Hey guys, how's it going? I literally did a product review this morning and I remembered how much I love doing product reviews. Uh, I did a denture product this morning, didn't love that, but I thought I would share with you guys my all-time favorite beauty products and yeah, so here we go. <laughs> my very most favorite foundation in the entire world is this one. Uh, I heard about this from uh, Taylor Wynn. Uh, it is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Lasts up to 24 hours. I love this stuff. Um, I do get it. I've been getting it in light beige. I like it because it, it's natural. It matches my actual skin tone. Um, I'm not wearing it today, which is kind of funny. I just wanted to try something new um, or try something else. But uh, this is my everyday foundation. I actually have two of them uh, somewhere. I have two of them somewhere. Um, and I love it. I've been using this almost every single day for eight months. <laughs> like it is that good. I love it. It stays, it does, I have very minimal creasing. I always have creasing because of my skin. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I almost never wear a primer with it. If I do, I wear this one. It is the e.l.f. <laughs> the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Uh, it's very sticky. It helps hold your makeup in place, helps with creasing. And I absolutely love it. I find that it helps my under eyes stay creaseless and right around my lips so as you can see right now I've got some creasing here today because I didn't I didn't use I didn't use these so yeah these are my two favorite this one really just gives you the most natural like skin it looks like second skin like it literally just looks like it just goes on and evens out everything it has amazing coverage it's really really wonderful um and it never gets like greasy or cakey or anything. And it is sweat proof, waterproof, um, and mattifying. So I recommend this to everyone that I know. It's just enough coverage and you can build it really, really easily. Um, but yeah, Catrice Cosmetics and the e.l.f. primer. Oh my God, a godsend. <laughs> Um, for concealer, I have been using this for two years now. This is the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. I buy, re I've repurchased this a million times. The only thing that I don't like about it is that it gets dry. It dries really, really quickly. I do use it as an eyeshadow base as well as an under eye concealer. It has amazing coverage. My eyeshadow tends to stick to it really well. I usually put it on smooth it out and then put my color that I want in my crease right there and then by the time I've kind of packed that on it's dried and it blends out really really nicely it makes it a lot smoother I also use this for cut creases um, when I do my big you know big cut crease <laughs> I use it when I do my cut crease um it's incredible I will never give this up I hope that they never stop making it because it is incredible the only like I said the only thing that I don't like about it is if you wait too long if you like put it on you like here 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 all at once you're gonna have a hell of a time blending it out because it just dries so quickly um but that's a good thing and it also I have minimal creasing with this just especially when I set it with a powder and I layer my products and everything um yeah I have some pretty deep you can't see them because I cover them up pretty well with my um, makeup, but I have some pretty heavy creases, uh, wrinkles under my eyes uh, and in the corners, and uh, this works really well. Uh, I tend to get greasy there as well, so this being extremely matte and drying really quickly um, really helps with that. I would suggest, though, if you put your foundation on and then your concealer, powder that right away. Um, don't bake with this because it can get kind of kinky but absolutely wonderful I get warm fair I get the lightest possible shade it's closest to white um and I love this so much um I use it in the center of my forehead but I also get really heavy creasing in my forehead I have really expression lines like I have age lines in my forehead and they do show up because the more in you emote with your face and I am very emotable um <laughs> 
it creases um, on my forehead. No matter what I do, I crease on my forehead. All right, uh, when I set my face, so my favorite pow loose powders are, <laughs> I'm a trash human being. I can't ever keep the lids to anything. <laughs> um, my favorite powders though are the flower, the flat is it? Oh, All right, it's the flower, it's not Flower Beauty, that's uh, uh, Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery Loose Setting Powder, uh, Flower Setting Powder. And I get mine in Oat Translucent, and it's amazing. It just is like butter. This is one that is really great to use with like a damp beauty blender. Uh, I usually kind of pack it on and then smooth it over with the beauty blender, and it comes out so smooth. Also, if you just are haphazard, like I am some days where I'm in a hurry, Take my brush and just boom, 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 all over or, um, you know, use one of these. Incredible. And then when you spray it with a setting spray, it really just melts into the skin. It's wonderful. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay. Then my other favorite. This is the one I kind of go to every single day um, that I don't use a pressed powder. Um, this one's also good for setting, uh, like a finishing powder. So this one is the perfect setting powder by um, Cover FX. I actually got this at a Marshalls um, and I love it. I get translucent or light. I, I don't like any kind of color to my powder. I usually, cause my foundation either matches dead on or it's uh, near white and I don't like to add any color that way. I only like to add color here um, when I'm bronzing and contouring. So um, this one is also super nice. It's very, very lightweight. You just kind of dust it on. It melts into the skin. Um, I use this specifically when I'm going under my eyes. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, this one's really great for under eyes. Um, I never have an issue with it. Um, and uh, it's great for baking around the mouth. I didn't use this today either. I used my pressed powder. So this one is my favorite pressed powder. Um, that is drugstore brand. I'll say that because there is another one that I really like, but I'm out of it right now. Um, but this is my favorite drugstore brand. The only thing, <laughs> the only thing is that I wish, I wish L'Oreal made this in lighter shades because this one looks, you know, it looks like, oh, that's really, that's really light. Um, when you are super fair skinned, um, or you like to wear your foundation, um, you know, on the lighter side, this one adds a lot of color. This one is kind of, um, I don't know, it, it, it's, a, it's five pearl. I believe this is the lightest shade. Uh, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation in a powder. And it's great. I love it. It's what I'm wearing today. My only problem is I get, I still get creasing. Uh, right there, you can see. Like my, my smile lines crease. Uh, usually when I sit with a powder like this one, I don't really get creasing. I also use a different foundation today. I like this one, um, but it does leave me a bit on the oily side. Even being a matte foundation, it does leave me a little bit oily. So, um, but yeah, I do love this powder foundation. I would never wear it as a powder foundation. One, girl, my skin could not. Um, I have giant pores. I have oily spots, I have dry spots, my skin is a fucking mess. So I would never use this over a moisturizer as just a powder foundation, but I do like to set my makeup with it. And funny enough, I used it under my eyes and I have no creasing under my eyes. I have creasing in my forehead and I have creasing here, but under my eyes, nothing. But it does look, you know, really nice. Looks nice everywhere else except for like right here and right here. Um, but I do really like this powder. Uh, it is my go-to. Um, sometimes I'll set my face with different powders just depending, but today I didn't feel like it. So this is the, there's consequences to that. Um, okay. My favorite setting spray, Mac Fix Plus. I have had this for, oh my God, <laughs> a year, I think. Cause it's like 24, $28. 
Um, it's on the expensive side, but I have had it for a long time. I love it. I spray it all over. I didn't today. Today was a, I haven't done my makeup in two weeks and I'm just going to do it and I don't care. I'm not leaving my house. This is, I felt like doing my makeup and making TikToks. So, um, but anytime I'm leaving the house or going out, um, store, date, you know, whatever, this stuff saves me. If I'm going to be sweating, going outside in the heat, hello, hello, you, this, and I have a giant fan, like a paper fan that I use and I dry my face. Excellent, excellent. It's also great as a base too, but I almost always use it as a setting spray. Um, the only thing is I wish it wasn't so expensive. <laughs> and sometimes the sprayer can get a little weird. It can kind of kind of give you too much. You kind of have to constantly move your hand while you're spraying your face or else you will get a deposit of a lot of liquid and it can, you know, not be fun. Um, when I'm doing my white, if I'm doing white costumey or white face makeup, this is my favorite white base foundation. It is the Mehron Makeup Clown White, Clown Blanc. I got this from Amazon. Uh, I also got the Catrice. Catrice foundation is discontinued. I found it on Amazon. So if you're looking for that, it is on Amazon. Um, so yeah, so this is incredible. It is a grease paint. Um, so <laughs> uh, you have to have a real slick kind of base on your face. Um, it's a little hard to work with, I will say, but that's all really, you know, uh, professional products. They are a little tougher to work with. This one is a like chunk of product. You rub your fingers around it, grab a little, like get quite a bit, take it in your palm. You have to really warm it up and then tap it. If you try to smear it, if you try to use a brush, if you try to use anything other than your fingertips, you will get streaking. You will get choppy patches. It's, uh, it's <laughs> girl is a mess. And if you try to set it with um, anything other than like a setting powder or a white face powder, I use the Mehron white face powder as well. Incredible. Um, if you try to set it with anything like baby powder, because baby powder is white and you think, oh, that'll work. No, it won't. <laughs> Trust me, uh, no, it will not. It will not work. Um, and you always want to set it with uh, a powder puff. Pop, 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 pop. Like if you try to use a brush, streaks. So it's difficult to work with, but if you can figure it out and get it to work for you, incredible. I usually do a base of this, the CeraVe Healing Ointment. It is petroleum based, uh, also protects your skin, it has hyaluronic acid and ceramides in it. It's really great. I usually, t I tend to put this on if I'm wearing a very thick drying foundation. If I'm wearing Kat Von D Locket, which I don't really like this foundation, but if I'm gonna wear it because it's pale, I will use this. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> now onto eye products. Now my favorite brand of eyeshadow palettes is Morphe. I can't pick a favorite. I really can't pick a favorite, but <laughs> Morphe is my favorite. My go-to palettes, I will say, are this one, the Avani, Avani Greg. That is one of my go-tos, as well as the 39 Lights. There we go. Those are my, those are my go-tos. Um, Morphe, unproblematic brand for the most part. I think they have something with James Charles, but, uh, and they did have one with Jeffree Star, which I did, did buy that palette when it came out. Um, it's an amazing palette. I'm not gonna lie. It's a really amazing palette. I wish things were different. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, Morphe is this whole look today. Just saying. Um, but as for eyeliners, I have quite a few favorites. Um, for liquid eyeliners or, you know, I forget what this is called. For eyeliners, um, this is one of my favorites to kind of mark out and do designs with. So if I'm doing something really graphic, if I do a graphic liner, this is great to kind of map it out. Now, if you have eyes that water, if your eyes water or if you're going out and you're going to sweat or if you are going to go to like a water park and you want a hot look or, you know, the beach, whatever, I do not recommend because these are water-based. So you dip your pen in some water, 
you do your line smooth amazing i have super textured eyelids because i'm old <laughs> um <laughs> so uh sometimes getting pen liners to work on me creates really choppy lines um and it's really hard for me to get a smooth line with this no issues getting a smooth line and the best thing is is that you can then take another eyeliner that might be waterproof and kind of go over and really cement those lines in so that they don't run. I tend to get really watery allergy eyes and it will just run off. I'll have a big hole <laughs> in my makeup. So these are great for mapping out things. I also do my inner corner. Uh, I paint that white with the white in here. Um, I really love all of these. They're pretty easy to mix. They do dry pretty quickly. Um, so you kind of have to work quickly. But these are amazing. Suva Beauty is incredible. I want to have a million more of their products. I, I love them. Love them. <laughs> also, I'm wearing a heart monitor. <laughs> My heart monitor is probably going crazy right now because I feel like I can't breathe. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, so for my favorite stick eyeliners, um, the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil is my favorite for down here and smudging out, as well as the Almay All Day Intense Gel Liner. Gel liners are my favorite eyeliners. They work incredibly well. They smoke out. I have never had an issue with uh, these two. The only one I've ever had an issue with is the Tattoo Studio um, Maybelline Tattoo Studio. It says it's a gel, it's hard as hell, and it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, as for liquid eyeliners, um, the NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner has been my failsafe. I've never had a problem with this. Some people say that the product runs out really quickly. I've had them last for months. I actually bought this one at, at Christmas. It has never failed me. It's still going strong, and I do my eyeliner almost every single day, except for the past two weeks. <laughs> Um, and the last, oh no, I'm sorry, I have one more product. Um, the Epic Wear Waterproof is really great for, you know, going over those lines that you make to make sure that your eyeliner doesn't budge or bleed. Um, the only problem is it takes a long time to dry, dry, it's very sticky, it can smudge, it can, you know, when it's drying, it can kind of, if you have hooded eyes like I do, uh, it can definitely you know, get up in your crease and fuck up your makeup. Um, but it is great if you like to do little tattoos or little hearts or anything, um, or little marks on your face. This is really great um, if you're doing any kind of fake tattoo, any kind of thing like that. It's amazing. I really, really love it. It does stay, it does stay. Um, and the very, very last product I'm gonna show you is the CoverGirl, <sighs> what is this? Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. This is the only thing I use to do my brows anymore. I don't use pomades or gels or anything. My eyebrows have been growing back. I've been liking a very natural um, eyebrow lately, very, you know, fluff and faded, and then into a, you know, the darker in the middle to the tail of my brow. This stuff is amazing. It comes in so many different colors. This one is rich brown, which is the shade that I use. And it has the blender on the bottom. And it's just, <laughs> guys, I just, I can't. This is my favorite brow product I've ever had in my entire life. Hands down, hands down. My favorite <laughs> brow product I've ever used in my entire life. It's incredible. It's literally incredible. It just, it's so easy to work with. If you're like me and brows have just like always been a thing, like I used to shave, I shave mine off all the time and draw them on. I've really been enjoying this for a while my brows growing in because I have all these short little baby hairs that are just going everywhere and it just makes it so freaking easy. So freaking easy to just shoop right up in there. Um, and I forgot my last, very, very last favorite lashes. This is just a favorite brand. These brand, uh, this brand is the Ioni 3D Foam Ink Lashes. I got these at the dollar store. They have, I stocked up but I've gone through my stock pretty quickly. <laughs> um, I try not to uh, use them and I try to save them and reuse them because I love them so much and they're coming harder to find because people have figured, found out about them. They're incredible. You get them at the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar a piece. They are, you know, thinner uh, band size. They're easy to trim and fit. They're amazing for a dollar. I probably have like, I wanna say I probably have like 20 pairs right now that I still have but I go through them very quickly because I lose them. Even though I try to save them, 
I still lose them. I don't know. And sometimes I pull them off in the car after a long day and I'm just like, whatever. Um, they are a dollar. They're incredible. These are the Halloween ones I got back in Halloween. I still have two, four, six, eight of them, which is sad because I love them so much. Um, and these ones are just random ones. So but yeah, that is all of my beauty favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that you try some of these products out because they're really incredible. They've worked really well for me. I'd love to know what works for you. What do you recommend? Uh, and if you would like to see a makeup that I hate video, let me know because I have plenty of makeup that I just like, mm, I hate it looks terrible. <laughs> and I would love to do a review for that for you if you guys like. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!